Tax day isn't until Monday, but there have already been some surprises for Americans filing their first income tax returns under President Donald Trump's 2017 law. Let's start with the big one. While most Americans are paying less in taxes overall, many have been startled to find that their refunds have barely changed or are down making them feel like they lost, even if they're still coming out ahead. Below are some other ways to look at who is winning and losing under the law. And please take note, it's possible to both win and lose at the same time. Winning, most U.S. taxpayers. The vast majority of American tax filers, more than 65%, will see their overall tax burden decrease by at least $100, according to the Congressional Joint Committee on Taxation. See page 7 of this helpful analysis. Slightly less than 30% of filers will see very little change in their tax liability, and a small percentage, about 6%, will see an increase. These tax rate cuts for individual filers are not permanent like the corporate tax cuts, but they'll be in place until 2025. But while most Americans got a tax cut, most people don't seem to understand they got one. According to an NBC News Wall Street Journal poll out this week, only 17% of Americans think they're getting a tax cut, while 28% said they will pay more. Winning, most rich people. The new tax laws benefits are tilted toward the wealthy, who will generally see greater benefits than other Americans. The largest cuts will go to the people who pay the most in tax, according to the Tax Policy Center, a think tank, which suggested that tax filers in the 95th to 99th percentile of income, roughly between $308,000 and $733,000, would see the largest benefit as a portion of after tax income. Most people in the bottom 20% income-wise will see little or no change in their tax liability, according to that report. Losing, some rich people, probably in blue states. About 14% of rich people making more than $1 million will see a tax increase. They're likely to be concentrated in states with high state and local taxes and they possibly have multiple homes. They used to be able to deduct a lot more of their state and local income taxes from their federal returns. Now those deductions are capped at $10,000. But the cap in deductions will likely hit people in the top 1% of wage earners in those states the hardest, although there will be people affected across the income spectrum. Really winning, heirs of rich people. The law more than doubled the amount that can pass to family members without triggering the estate tax, from about $5 million to more than $11 million for individuals and $22 million for married couples. That affects a relatively small number of Americans, but it means they'll be able to keep more of an estate. Still winning, investors. The rates for capital gains taxes did not change in the tax law and remain lower than the rates for wage income. So people making money primarily off investments will continue to pay less in taxes than people who depend mostly on salary income. Winning, Trump, maybe, although some other business owners won't win as much. Most small business owners, and a lot of, not so small business owners, include their profits on personal income tax returns instead of paying as corporations. Trump is presumably among these, although it's impossible to know since he has kept his tax returns from public view. Under the law, which the IRS clarified in January, certain types of business owners get a 20% tax deduction. Doctors and lawyers lost out on that exemption, however, along with major league baseball team owners. Winning, red state filers who depend on refunds. According to preliminary data from H&R Block, it is mostly red states, those that voted for Trump in 2016, who are getting the largest bump in tax refunds.